Hi, this is a test of the variable anti-aliasing filter. I'm using the Nikon D5100 and um, at the moment there's no filter attached. I'm using a Sigma zoom lens now at this point at the 19mm zoom and a aperture of 5.6. I'll start with testing how it looks without the filter. And this camera has some very clear moray and aliasing features, so it's a, it's a good camera to use for this test. I'm using um, autofocus, and as you see on this test resolution sheet uh, uh, chart, there are some very clear moray patterns and they are especially on the horizontal lines the vertical lines are less prone to this effect I will look at some other objects um, there's a um, typical uh, problem with a shirt fabric very clear Also, I'm experience, experiencing some problems with a uh, fur. What is a different? Uh, this autofocus is not very efficient. This is kind of a different look on the fur, which is more like an organic pattern. In this case, the aliasing looks more like some noise. Very nice. I also have a chair, which is quite illustrative. Again, it's the horizontal lines that really causes a problem. Finally, there's the brick wall. Again. A lot of moray. Yes. I will now try to attach the filter. And as a variable filter, I will attach it at a setting of. 0% so at this point uh, very much the sharpness and the moray is uh, preserved let's see what happens when we crank it up a bit so now it's 75 percent and let's try 100 percent okay so as it can be seen the um, image really gets more and more soft as the moray also disappears gradually it's always a matter of finding the optimal balance between between the softness and the moray and in this case I think something like 60% gives a quite good compromise between the softness and the moray and that may vary a, a bit from scene to scene how much is actually needed so let's see how the objects behave They're different so let's see this one 
I believe there is still a little bit. Yeah, there's a bit left. Yeah, tiny amount. Maybe it's too much, maybe it's not. In certain cases, let me try the fur. And finally the brick wall. I think this one reduces the moray uh, quite a bit. Of course it's maybe possible just to enhance bring it up to a higher setting. I'll not change the zoom setting to a wider angle to 13 mm zoom and for this setting for this filter method aliasing filter method the strength really depends a lot on the lens settings so going to a wider angle requires a stronger filter setting as you may see it is visible now the sun just changed a bit now it is um, a bit weaker. I will crank it up to about 85% or something. A bit stronger. Okay, like this. And let me see the other objects again. Actually, now this the sun just disappeared, so it's a bit different lighting conditions. Okay. We still have a little bit more patterns on this one. Let's try the fur. Mm -hmm. And the chair. Finally, the brick wall. Okay, and for reference, I will now just put it in the start position and remove the filter and repeat just to see the effect. Okay, not repeat. This is without the filter. It's a bit sharper, definitely, but it's also over sharp. So a lot of high frequency frequencies are generating digital artifacts and noise. Let's see this one. So this really causes a lot of noise in the raw material that is captured. And this also makes the in-house um, sharpness and other processing effects work much less effective. And the um, medium coating is also struggling with all this noise. Let's see. Some flickery stuff. And finally this one. This camera is really a good one for showing this effect. It has some severe problems. But actually, after when you filter this, it, it gets relatively decent once you get rid of it. Of course, with higher resolution cameras, this effect will appear on a much finer scale. And the effect might be much smaller, not that visible. Okay, so yes, that was without the filter. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.